Hey there everybody, Embrix here with a LEGO discussion and I know I said I was going to start reviewing my Mock City but I did want to get this uh, video up before that. Um, so uh, when I reviewed like that tiny tiny car, only like tiny wheels, like it was like what 8 pieces max or something, um, I kind of went on about how like Cat should have a helmet and stuff like that but I realized that it was a bit lady lazy to combine the videos. Um, and you guys just wanted to see that and it was rushed because I didn't want that video to be too long but I'm here with another discussion so that we could actually talk about it for longer so um, here's what I've been thinking about lately um uh, this is my Marvel Studios stand still in work as you see those weird colors back there and I will review it um, once I get like um, more figures and once I get to that after reviewing my city hopefully but um um, figures with helmets, let's take Iron Man, he's a great example. This is a good, you know why? He has his face underneath, he has his helmet, and I would like um, for them to include the hair piece, but you know, that's um, a side issue where I can kind of bring it up with here. I think if figures that have face prints have helmets, they should include hair pieces as well. But um, here's the main reason I did this. Um, he still has his face, okay? A figure like Ant-Man under that helmet still has the face. A figure like the Wasp under that helmet still has a face. And those are all helmeted figures and those are all good. Captain America does not use a helmet anymore. Now he goes with his hair. But remember when he did? Yeah, remember old Cap? Well, he did wear a helmet. Remember, that goes on top of his actual face. And I've always thought it lazy that it was um, just printed on the head. I thought they should have made a 3D helmet-like piece that went over his head. So when you take that helmet piece off, you could still have his face prints and probably a hair accessory. So that is one example. Another example of where they should have had a helmet is right here. Spider-Man. I'd love to get Peter Parker's uh, face and hair. So... I do think that it should not have been done in a helmet. And now another great example, Black Panther. It just, look at this figure. Ugh. The helmet annoys me a lot that it's just printed on and we don't even get his face underneath. So um, maybe I'm nitpicking, but I think that this is actually something that they should do different. And I believe that um, for future MCU uh, kit figures, or just future figures in general, I would just love to see helmet pieces and um, face prints. Like, Black Panther could use it, um, the old cap, but they're not doing him anymore. And then, yeah, just a lot, a lot of uh, different um, things could use it. But that is it for this video. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe. Uh, leave a comment down below about your thoughts on this whole issue. But I will talk to you again soon. Bye.